Steve, very well done uh, again. What about that? Uh, the performance, the yeah. result against a very good Wickham Wanderers yeah, side. Yeah, they are a good team. We knew it before we were coming into the game. We knew how, uh, how difficult game this was going to be. And not just a difficult game because they're a good team, a difficult game because they've potentially got the new manager in. They're, I don't know, on a winning streak like we were, winning five games on the spin. So, yeah, an, an incredible performance by the boys, you know, and, and a real difficult game that you have to you have to navigate your way around. But I thought the boys to a man today, you know, and the substitutes that come on had a, you know, a huge impact in the game today. Let's talk about the goals. The first one to begin with, great play from, from Christian Sadie in, in the build-up. Yeah, I mean, Christian Sadie's in a lot of our build-up, isn't he? You know, so, um, you know, we spoke about where we thought he could be effective um, and he, he, he was brilliant with that today, I felt. And, and, <coughs> and with Ryan Bowman up there as well, I thought that they gave us a real good start in the game that Ricky and Rob finished off for us. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, really important that the squad boys stay up to speed. As you can see now, they're working behind now with Chris, but, but they were brilliant. But, you know, even the boys that didn't start, you know, what they are is there. They're really all in for the rest of the lads, which is um, it's quite unique, really. It doesn't happen very often at a football club that you get it quite as special as we've got it. And I just said to them, they will remember these teammates for years to come when they go on and some of them finish their careers and others are still young ones who are starting it. But, but they're a real, um, real connected bunch. And you mentioned the subs, Ricky Pie coming on to, yeah, to great brilliant. effect yeah, I'm great. again. I'm, I'm it's becoming a habit of the subs scoring goals. Yeah, well, that's what it's about as well, isn't it? You know, so when they come on and they're a little bit fresh, maybe we maybe we can catch them. Um, and, and Rick is a great lad. You know, I, I think that Rick is coming into the fore, really, and, and this is his best season where I've had that, I don't know, that, that extra time with him. And, and I, you know... I've always liked Ricky, incredibly popular boy in the dressing room um, and, and doing a great job for the team, great job for the squad and, um, and he's a great lad as well. And Streety, by the way. I know we're talking about Rick because Rick got the goal, but oh, you know, we're, we're really, really chuffed for Ricky getting that goal today. And how hard did your team have to work for that clean sheet against the Wickham yep. side that always make it difficult yeah, for Yeah, you've got to. I mean, you know, I, mean they're, I think they're, they're brilliant on interceptions. We knew that coming into the game. So any sort of square ball or any ball that hasn't got any speed on it will get jumped and it will get intercepted. And then they're off and running and you've got the quality of, I, I know only too well, in Gareth McCleary, who, was, who I had at Nottingham Forest, who's a, not only is he a great player, he's just a, he's a diamond of a lad as well, a brilliant, brilliant boy. I love him to death. And um, it was great to see him today, but I'm glad obviously he didn't put one in our net. And then you've got, you know, Lewis Wing in their midfield as well. You know, the way he strikes a ball... But we didn't give him a look at our goals today. And, and what's happened of late, you know, I think he, he ended up scoring against Derby, I want to say. Um, I'm sure it was against Derby, Lewis Wing scored. And then you've had him scoring from a corner where he's given it and, and he's got the return ball and smashed it in at the near post. And we've, we've worked really hard on Thursday and Friday, um, making sure that we don't get caught a cold with, with any of that. And I thought we were brilliant at that today. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant at that. That's important in keeping the clean sheet. Because if you switch off, they'll catch you. You've actually completed the double over Wickham Wanderers now this yeah. season. I can't imagine there's too many teams that, that achieve that. No, no, there isn't. But, you know, we've also, had, we've also had the double done over us a couple of times as well. You know, Accrington, um, Cheltenham. You know, in games we're disappointed in. So I'm sure there'll be disappointment with them, with us doing the double over them, but you know, it's over the over the course of the season and sometimes sometimes it falls for you and sometimes it doesn't. And um, you know, we're we're just grateful of the three points and nothing else. Talking of points, I understand you have now beaten last season's points total from forty six games with thirteen games still to go in this current campaign. Again put into words, Steve, that the size of that uh, achievement that the, the, the progress that represents. Well, first of all, let's hope we get a few more. Um, but yeah, now I think 51 points um, will definitely keep us up. Um, but that, there's been so much hard work that's been put into this. Not, not just this year, where everybody is seeing perhaps the fruits of the labour, 
it's a, it's been about putting the solid foundations in. Really, all of last year, um, and trying to get together a group of lads um, that are younger. Um, some of them have got their careers in front of them. Um, to do it with our budget has been. I couldn't tell you how stressful that's been. Um, and working really, really hard when no one sees it. So there's been quite a bit of work with all of that. Um, the recruitment, I think, that, that Keith and myself have managed to do here, I think, I think has been very different at different times. But it's really been hard work. Um, but on days like today and moments that you have in the dressing room with all those lads, I actually count myself lucky because you don't always get it right. And by the way, when you don't get it right, you don't have to have enough people telling you about it. Um, but, you know, it, it's nice. It's nice that people think perhaps we've got it right um, in terms of the dressing room. But, but the big part of it is actually enjoying it, enjoying the moment. So we know we've got a lot of tough games to come. We know that. Um, but we'll prepare as always and, and see where that takes us. Excellent again today. Thanks as always for your time. Thank you. Thank you.